so hope everyone's doing well. I am going to a party tonight. Um, it's actually my work's Christmas party and it's going to be downtown at the Drake Hotel. Um, I've never been there but apparently it's a really nice hotel and they have a lounge and I'm going. And I woke up this morning feeling so shitty. Like, I know I had a dream last night. I, I couldn't remember what it was about or what happened, but I remember feeling really terrible about it when I woke up. And I guess that's that leads to what um, I wanted to tell you guys. In this video, um, basically, I had a bad, 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 bad week. Um, out of the seven days that have passed, I didn't binge for one and a half, or I guess two of the days. So, um, I kind of feel really bloated and fat right now um it took a lot of convincing from my boyfriend to get me to go to this party but um he managed to convince me but like as i said when i woke up i felt like complete crap because um, of my dream probably but also because i woke up knowing that i had just felt so blah like that like last night i came home from my sister's place i finally saw her in her fiance's new house and they cooked me dinner and we played some games and i was perfectly fine i was enjoying myself but when i got home uh don't know what got into me again but i went to the cupboard went to my room locked myself up and just and I, like I'm, I'm more aware like I said I told you before I'm more aware of what I'm doing and I know that I'm doing it because I want to fill this emptiness that I feel and I think I know why I might have felt that way um, like number one I just been feeling really stressed Socially, I just feel like I'm not connecting with um, certain people and I'm not comfortable still expressing myself or expressing how I feel like I really am like the, the true me I guess like I don't know how to explain it but it's just sometimes when I'm in a crowd I just I'm not myself and I'm a lot more introverted and I'm just a person that I don't want to be in. It's really been taking a toll on uh, my emotions and I just don't want to feel it. And I'm turning to food to try to numb me and so on and so forth, the whole cycle. And I know you guys um, have heard it before and you guys probably know what I'm talking about. So I won't um, expand on that. But yeah so um but i talked to my boyfriend about um what's been going on because i haven't told him about these binge binging episodes that's been going on for the past week but i finally told him today when i woke up feeling really crap and he talked me through it and i told him that i just feel completely alone like no one can, at least none of the people that I know can truly say that they know how I feel or or can really comfort me the way that I need to be comforted or at least that's how I feel right now. And um, But he managed to um, tell me that it's okay and um, not to let this um, get me down and and I'm not going backwards 
even though I feel like I've been, I messed up this whole week and even though I feel like all that working out for the past couple months has been for nothing, he managed to convince me that I have been improving and even though it's still something that I'm stressed, like I'm dealing with, that I'm on the road to recovery or or getting there to where I want to be. So, I mean, that was really encouraging. And again, I'm really thankful that um, he's been able to put up with me and um, still has uh, like stuff to tell me that really um, that works, that comforts me, I guess. And so ever since I had that talk with him earlier, I come to my point where I want to continue again um, on my journey of trying to uh, be comfortable with food and have that healthy relationship with food and not be afraid um, of, of food basically and being in social situations um, because of my problem with it. So yeah, um, so that's what's been going on and I know I was going to I know I told you guys I was going to read you guys another passage from that book I've been reading, but um, I don't have time for that tonight. Um, well, I do have like another hour before I have to leave, but I don't want to rush on um, that, so I'll leave that to my next video. Um, so I don't know, I guess for tonight I'm just really hoping I could have a good time and um, not be afraid to just be out there and and not you know stay in one corner or stay with my boyfriend and not talk and blah 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 all that stuff and uh, it's really like I feel like a lot of times I self-sabotage like I'm self-sabotaging like like for example, when I'm in a binge, I'll I'll open the cupboard and I'll be like, okay, I shouldn't be reaching out for that box of cookies or that box of cereal or whatever it is. And I tell myself like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. But then a little voice, like those voices, those angry or those just bad voices in my head that are almost there, like that are there 24 seven, they tell me, but you could do whatever you want. If you want to eat that whole box of cookies, then do it. No one's, no one can tell you you can't do you can't do it. So, just do it, right? And I, like I kind of have this role play in my head that causes me to go into that, that, that path to no good. I guess you could call it. And it's really, I don't know. It's. When I think about it now, it's so dumb, and I feel like, how could I let myself fall for it? But, but then when I'm in that that situation, it's just, it's, I don't know. I like make up every excuse in the book that that will say that it's okay to do what I'm about to do, and and then of course I feel like shit after, and I know this, and even like how many times do I have to go through it before I really get it? And I mean, I remember my facilitator from those workshops, she said, it takes about 30 times before you get it or before you can make it right. So I feel like I've already reached that 30 times, but I mean, it just says that it's not something you can do overnight, right? So I don't know, on that note, uh, I hope that tonight is I have a really great time I'm planning to like go a little you know get uh, have some drinks and um, mingle with some uh, people some friends and some co-workers that I haven't seen in a while and yeah so I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow I'll make a video or uh, whenever I have time so uh, have a good night and I'll talk to you later